Hey guys, and welcome to another workout with Tyler quarantine thing. Uh, I don't remember what the title of this video is. Hey, and welcome to another workout from home with Tyler. That was sad. Today I have another workout for you guys. Um, of course, as always, we need this bad boy right here. Uh, nice yoga mat for padding. Helps with your joints and various other things. And it keeps you from sweating into like your carpet or your floor and just essentially being gross and having to clean up after that. So, today we have workout number two. And I hate to admit it, but I, uh, I'm still really bad out of shape and it's been a while since I've recorded and since I worked out. So, hopefully you've been doing better than I am at keeping track of things. Obviously, there's a lot going on and a lot of stress and a lot of various things going on in the world right now. Reopening, a lot of gyms are reopened, but COVID-19 is still a thing. You need to be aware of it. And workouts from home are great, and you don't necessarily need that many tools. But today, we will have one little surprise, but most of it is still body weight. Most of the things we will be doing today, again, you don't need anything for it. But, it is again a circuit. So today, our workout is gonna consist of lunges, curls, like get curls, curls, you know, curl in your arm, getting those nice flexes in there, getting that bicep, and then also crunches. Your standard crunch. Nothing really crazy here, it's just basic stuff. We'll talk about form again. We'll talk about through it. We'll talk about sets and reps and all those things. So normally, Again, I would do each set of 25, three, uh, three to four sets each. Um, so today we're gonna do four sets. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and do 15 lunges, um, and that's for each leg, mind you. So it ends up being a 30 total. We'll probably be doing 15 to 20 crunches, and we'll be doing 15 curls. Yeah, that's right. That's right, we're getting those biceps. We're working those arms. Again, working every part of your body. We're hitting some of your lower body, your core, and then your upper body. So, um, I might throw in an extra exercise in this video. I'm not sure yet, but um, we'll talk about that when we get to it. So, let me set this timer because I forgot to do so. Uh, you want to have water on hand. When you do drink it, you want to do small sips. You don't want to over drink and end up uh, having your body resort to its metabolism and things like that. Um, metabolism. For digestion, it doesn't revert your blood flow to your digestive purposes and away from your muscles that you are going to need for these exercises. Um, so water, very important to have nearby and with you. And also, we got our nice dandy shoes. We got our workout apparel on. This time I'm wearing the, the shirt we got from Friend Yoga on Mark's video. If you haven't seen that, you should check it out. Um, my shorts, nice moisture wicking socks and exercise shoes because you guys don't need to see my bare feet. That's gross. Without further ado, we should get into it. So today, I neglected to do anything that got my cardio going and got my blood flow going. So we're gonna sit here and we're gonna chat for a bit and I'm just gonna Jog in place, because it's, it's really simple to do, and it's a really easy thing. You can get high knees going. Um, there's a fun thing that you can do with like knee-high jumps, um, but we're just gonna jog for a bit and get our blood flowing, you know, get those arms pumping, get things going. Just kinda, this feels really weird doing this, because normally I just kinda like run on the stairs. The biggest thing is you don't want your feet hitting the implant, like flat on the floor. If you notice, I'm leaning on the balls of my feet and letting my heel touch, and then my my feet lift back up. So, woo! Spin in a circle, do an exercise, oh yeah. This is weird, but it's fun. And I'm doing it with you guys, so have some fun, oh yeah. Oh good. This is embarrassing as all get up, so I'll stop as I'm getting dizzy now. So, this is an easy way to get your blood flowing if you don't feel like going outside. Obviously, if you go outside right now, wear a mask. Um, it's not for you, it's for those around you. Um, getting that blood flowing is very important. You can run some stairs if you have stairs in your house. That's originally what I was gonna do today. But 
some other things get, uh, came up and I wanted to take care of those first. So, this is important to get your muscles and your blood flowing. Um, swinging your arms, you get the movement in your arms, you get your leg pump, pumping, you get some cardio up. Start sweating. Just get it going for a short bit. Oh. This is the part where Logan's gonna fast forward. for this one because I can feel the burn from running in place on my calves I'll do some calf stretching the easiest thing to do one leg straight back so my right leg back heel to the floor that leg in front arms against the wall keep that back leg straight just kind of lean into it keep that heel press against the floor so you can feel that stretch you hold it for 10 seconds at the bare minimum. Don't forget to kind of keep getting slightly deeper into the stretch as is comfortable as you continue on into the stretch. And exhale when you do that. And then you flip legs, do the same thing. Pretty simple. sweat. All this hair. This is going to be a fun, fun day. You guys are going to see a lot of it on this shirt because this shirt's cotton. Oh, all right. Got that stretch in. Um, sometimes I don't stretch my arms and I just kind of shake them out. Um, this one, because I'm doing biceps, I'm going to do a different stretch than I normally do and actually work on my shoulders. Um, this one is easy. You get an edge, like a corner of the door frame. So I'll grab this one. Make sure you keep your shoulder straight. You don't shrug and try and stand straight up. Turn into it. You'll feel that stretch in your shoulder as well as your pec. Um, a lot of times this is this will stretch your labrum, which uh, if you, those of you that don't know, a lot of athletes can get labrum tears, especially swimmers, from doing like fly and some stuff like that where they're over tense and their shoulders are kind of pulled forward towards the chest. So. This is a really good stretch for me because I have that issue. And it also stretches your bicep out as well along the same, same lines. Which is good for what we're gonna be doing today, which are bicep curls. Whew. And you're gonna be like, well, how do you do that without weight? I'll show you, don't worry about it. You don't need, you don't need dumbbells for that. You don't, you just don't. So once that's done, switch to the other arm. Again, you notice shoulder level, Keep my body and just turn and breathe. Don't forget how important breathing is. So, get a nice stretch there. Whew. My calves already feel significantly better from that stretch. It's amazing what a little stretch can do for you. Um, again, when you exercise and stuff like that, exercise is a small part of it. Your diet is also very important with regard to your calorie intake versus calories burned. That's how you, you lose fat. Um, stop looking at weight. Really what matters is kind of like your, your body fat percentage because muscle is just more dense. So if you're just using weight as a measurement, it's not a good measurement for quality workout and change, which is really what you're looking for in, in the case of exercise. You wanna, you want to like reduce your pant size and stuff like that because muscle is more dense 
and you're generally wanting to get tone. I think that's the majority of what people want is to get tone. Um, and body weight exercises are a great way to do that because as you get lighter, it becomes easier. Um, and as you get more tone, your muscles get more flexed and more into it, it becomes easier. It's not just about weight, it's about everything overall. So, like I said, at the beginning of the exercise, what we're gonna do is lunges. Lunges are simple. They're essentially, you know your normal squat, we did that last time. A lunge is instead putting one foot in front, bending down, and making your knee not quite touch the ground, and back up. And there's a number of ways you can do that. There's side lunges, where you go to the side and lunge down. Um, there's lunges where you walk, so you do a lunge, up, forward, lunge. Um, the one I do, I don't know the exact definition for it, but it's kind of like a pushback lunge. So it accentuates um, your hamstrings to an extent. So you're gonna do 15 each leg. So arguably you can just count to 30 if you alternate, which is what I do. So we'll start out with the left leg and I'll show you exactly what it is. The key things to focus on are form. You will notice my front knee will try and will never go further than my, the tip of my toes. That's important for injury prevention and control. You also notice my knee will get as close to the ground as possible without touching if I can't help it. And you also notice I try and keep my torso and back straight. I'm not leaning forward. I wanna make sure that weight is balanced and centered between my two legs. So I'll just go ahead and do a lunge real quick so you can see it. But I'll step straight up and push back. Notice how the foot that stayed in the same place is the foot that was in the back. And I'll switch legs. Step, down, push back. That's two, three, four, five, six. If you're having a hard time keeping your, your torso straight, there's some techniques to talk about here. You can put your arms behind your butt and sometimes that makes it easier because you have to focus on keeping your arms in the right place. You just naturally have your chest pushed forward and you keep your, your torso straight. It's important for this because you need to keep your weight over the knee that goes down in order to get the maximum out of the ex exercise. If you're leaning forward, you're focusing your weight too much forward. It also impacts your balance. So, as you can see, my focus is about my knee placement, how my knees bend, and the pushback. And you'll feel it in both your quad in the front and the quad in the back, as well as your hamstrings, especially when you're pushing back towards your starting point. Maybe I should only do 10 each leg. I'm almost at 15 though. Ooh. Actually, I honestly lost track. That's fun. We'll do two more. Logan will yell at me later and tell me what my count is. But man, I feel that right here in my hamstrings. And a little bit inside more in my groin region as well, which is okay. Key thing there, balance, technique, and keeping that form right. You never want your knee over your toes because that'll hurt, cause knee injuries and make it prone to it. And you don't want your knee to touch the ground because then you're creating a resting position. You wanna keep it just above the ground so that that tension remains there. Next thing we're gonna do is curls. And yes, we have weight. So this weight, not sponsored by this brand that's on here, please blur that out, Logan. Um, it's just a toolkit. And I'll show you by opening this bad boy up. It's a toolkit that I got online for building IKEA furniture and also just to have a significant set of tools. So the great thing about a toolkit is if this is too much weight for you, 
I actually know a few people that have this toolkit as well. You can remove weight by removing tools. Isn't that great? It's like an adjustable weight. So I'm gonna close that back up. Ooh. Gotta put this back in there. Make sure the tools don't run into each other. Uh, I, of course, being the big beefy boy that I am, just like this is the big long boy, I'm not gonna remove weight. So, there are a couple of different types of curls you can do with this. You can do your single arm curls. Like that. You can do curls like this, which is what we'll be doing today. You can also do curls like this. I like this way because my hand positioning is just generally better. It also hits my forearms, which I really like because rock climbing and various other exercises, especially in actual physical demanding positions and spots where you need to pull yourself up or do stuff like that. Optical illusion, I thought it was falling. Um, you need that forearm build to be able to keep that grip and really push yourself over the edge to get above that. So if you were hanging off a ledge in a life-threatening situation, ah, forearm muscles can be very important. Not that many of you are gonna end up in that position, but you know. Also, I haven't shaved in a long time and I've never worked out with this much hair on my face. How do you guys do it? I need a rag. Oh man, I'm gonna get a rag. I don't know how people with beards do that or deal with this much moisture just sitting on their face. You guys can see I already have like a nice little sweat mark. So, without further ado, we'll get in curls. Key things when doing curls. Make sure you're focusing on flexing only muscles you need to and do it, can do fast up and slow down. So you can curl, accentuate on the way down and breathing. Notice another key part is I'm not doing this. My elbows are roughly staying put. I'm not going to get a curl. You need to do an exercise where you can actually focus in and a weight where you can focus in and actually do the exercise properly. So elbows staying in place, lift to the max, lower. Three, four, five, six, seven, because I did a couple single arms with this arm. Let's just do a couple with my left arm. And dual kit gets set down. Easy, right? Lunges, curls, now for crunches. Woo! Oh, oh, dripping sweat. So much sweat drip. So crunches, unlike sit-ups, your legs and feet, not like this. They're in the air. For this circuit, remembering which leg is over the other is important because it accentuates different ways. So I'm starting left over right, and we're gonna do a crunch. So a crunch is basically a shortened form of a sit-up. Instead of going all the way up, you're focusing in on just lifting your shoulder blades off the ground. So you're, up, you're hitting your upper, uppers more than anything. In my crunch variation, when I go down, you'll see my knees drift away from me. That makes me hit my lower abdominals as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, the burn is real. Oh, as 
Do you guys see that? My drift with my knees, how it went here and then here, here and then here, here and then here. Even doing it without lifting here, like this, you can feel the burn. So if you can't do crunches, sometimes you can just lay there and do a little bit of this motion and you'll get a nice burn. I like combining the two. You hit your uppers and your lowers. It's a lot and it burns. So crunch form is important. Again, you saw I didn't put my hands behind my neck to strain. I kept them here. I made sure I was lifting where I did. Synchronized timing, making sure everything's coming be compressed at that. And exhaling and inhaling on the way down. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Like that. I don't know why I did that, because you probably can't even hear me going to try and mimic the breathing properly. All right, pretty simple, easy circuit. Less explanation than the last video. And let's rock through these. Woo! Let's start from the top. We've done one set, three more to go. All right, lunges. Do, 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 do. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I think sets of 12 are good. Time for the curls. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. 14. All right, I did the next one. All right, crunches. Whew. Now it's right over left. sweat. Oh, that means you're doing work. Also, some people sweat more than others. I think I'm generally having sweaters. Good old genetics, right? 
get it. Whew. Final round. Finish him. Exercise complete. Oh, needless to say, these circuits are pretty fast. You don't have to exercise for hours on end to get results. Especially early on, definitely don't do that. Don't tax your body too much. Don't burn yourself out. Pace yourself. If you're just starting, recognize your body still needs to adapt. A lot of change needs to take place before you can start getting into a really easy routine. And it takes somewhere around like 60 days before it solidifies as a routine. Be kind to yourself, make efforts. And even if you're struggling to do a lot, doing something helps. If you can't do these exercises, you can do walks. You can make them easier with different variations of it. Just like the push-ups we did the last time, there are easier ways to do crunches, there are easier ways to do stuff. Like I said, the leg pumps or just the lifts. Um, <clears throat> every little bit, you're already running circles around somebody not doing anything. Believe in yourself. And don't forget to do recovery afterwards. Chocolate milk is great. I am gonna go grab mine now, which isn't chocolate milk but high protein, recover, stretch, rest, and make sure you hydrate and control what you eat as best you can and eat right. Don't eat a whole bunch of junk food. You just look at the calorie counts and look at the, the, what makes up the calorie count. Fat is a necessity in the body. Sugar is not. You've, you can cut a lot of carbs and still do good and get most of your carbs from vegetables and so many other things. Exercise can only do so much. A lot of stuff, if you wanna change, if you're uncomfortable with yourself and wanna work at it, great, good for you. Try to be healthier above all else because health is more important than how you look. If you are healthy, that's great. Everybody is beautiful, but the question is, are you healthy? Are you happy with where you are? Are you comfortable in your own skin? Those are the things that really want to push you to work out. Those are the things that you need to ask yourself and work towards making an improvement if you want to. And honestly, if you're unhealthy, I highly recommend you do those things because it can help in so many ways outside of just your physical health, but your mental health, your well being, your insecurities. There's a lot of things that can do, and exercise is also a great stress reliever. So again, thanks to you guys for joining me. These are always fun. Um, I'm not comfortable with the way I look right now. I used to be in much better shape, and um, I'm putting this out there because I know, I'm while I'm insecure with my body, I know a lot of other people are as well. And I know right now I'm not in a good, health state from with regard to my physical health I need to improve nothing is like extremely unhealthy or worrisome for me but I want to do this for me and I want to share it with you because it takes me a lot to put hop in front of these cameras but I can only imagine how much it can be for some somebody else regardless of the fact that I feel uncomfortable making these videos with how I look right now and wanted to exercise beforehand I recognize the fact that maybe I can push past those insecurities and just share the knowledge that I have with you guys and um, we can improve together and feel better about ourselves together. So I'm going to get my drink. Remember, 
No matter how much you do or how little you feel like you're doing, you're doing great, you're a gift to this world, and you have so many reasons to smile and so many good things that are out there for you to look at. It's tough, it's hard, there's a bunch of stuff going on in the world. We need to make sure that we address those, but also we need to make sure we take care of ourselves and also recognize the good. Smile always, and I'll see you guys in the next video or next thing or next stream or whatever it is. Thank you guys so much. Like, subscribe, and break that bell, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! Oh, I'm so sweaty. Oh! Oh! Let me shake this back the way up. Get this thing care of. This thing is just wet now. Ew! Ew! Now you drink. You're delicious. Ah! Oh! Went everywhere. In me crotch. Aha!